right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the 135-pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the orange trim. He represents Sitsan Muay Thai from Astoria, New York, David Rodriguez. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the red trim. And he's representing MK Muay Thai from Madison, New Jersey, Andrew Rampage Redner. Fighters to the center, please. All right, guys, we're going over the rules. I expect to follow them. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair, protect self at all times, listen to my instructions at all times. Remember, no elbows to the head, no knees to the head. Touch them up, let's get to work. The tireless Joel Becker, our third man in the ring for our next bout on Friday Night Fights. David Rodriguez on the left side of your screen out of Seton Gym in Astoria, Queens, New York against Andrew Rampage Redner from MK Muay Thai and Fitness in New Jersey. We're underway and Rampage comes out hot. Rodriguez there to meet him. Yeah, both of, both of these guys are firing right off the bat. You know, uh, Redner's coming up strong. Vicious. Left leg a teep from Rampage Redner sends Rodriguez back. David Rodriguez, he's a new fighter to Seton Jim. He's, uh... A big left hand from Redner. Good job by Joel Becker and jumping in between here. It puts Rodriguez on the seat of his pants. Two huge shots from Andrew Redner in the opening moments here against Rodriguez. And another huge left teep. Redner is absolutely on fire, living up to the nickname of Rampage. These guys, are, these guys are going for it all right now. Redner essentially hurled himself into action there. And he tries to whipsaw Rodriguez to the canvas there. Boy, a frenetic start here between Redner and Rodriguez. Redner wearing the red and black trunks, Rodriguez in the orange and black. And a big left foot lands up high for Redner. Well, it hasn't been the prettiest, but he has certainly been effective in this opening round, James Guccione. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, he's been throwing big shots, but they're landing and finding, finding a solid home against David. Rodriguez staying composed. Rodriguez is much bigger as well, you know, and, and uh, that, that doesn't seem to be a factor with Redner right now. Rodriguez has a slight height advantage over Redner. Looks a little beefier. This fight was supposed to be at 135, ended up at 140. Both men came in at about 138. It was actually agreed upon beforehand. It was, yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't looking, you know, new fighters, you don't always know how you're gonna cut weight. You don't always, you don't always know how your body's gonna react. So they both agreed on a higher weight, which worked out for, for everybody. Well, Rodriguez is, is, is making his debut tonight. Redner, on the other hand, has one fight under his belt, and he was literally on fire in the opening moments of this fight. Some of the action here, Rodriguez hit the canvas a couple of times, and there was a standing eight in there as well, there James, so eight, that know. would probably go as a 10-8 round for Redner. It could be, yeah. We have, the, we have the USMF in the building, you know, uh, getting them on board with Friday Night Fights. And uh, they actually, they have, a, they have a different, slightly different scoring style. And uh, curious to see if that would come into play tonight. But not every eight count, they call them precautionary eight counts. Not every eight count automatically makes it a 10-8 round. And another big left tee, but this time Rodriguez is ready for it. Redner, however, does not stop throwing follow-up punches. Oh, an exchange of body kicks. These guys are going for home runs with every shot. Big, big shots out of both these guys. Rodriguez finally looks to be getting his feet underneath him, and then Redner says he just got hit with a low blow. The clock will stop here as Rodriguez has to retreat the neutral corner. Almost a look of frustration on Rodriguez right now as Redner recovers across the ring. 
Might be a break for Redner here in a way, James, because he has been going so hot since yeah. this fight began. It's hard extra to keep breather. that pace going. And as soon as fight the fight resumes, he fires that teep. Rodriguez doesn't look hurt. He just he almost looks just bewildered at the very, very high octane delivery of Andrew Redner. A lot of movement out of Redner. He's all over the place. You know, he's he's hitting, he's getting out of the way, but he's throwing a big strike and he's and he's gone. You know, the footwork on him is uh, gonna make you dizzy. Well said, James Guccione. Rodriguez sits down on an inside leg kick. Redner undeterred. Now Rodriguez trying to come forward. Body kick gets in there for Redner. Nice little overhand right, too. And he says another low blow. And Rodriguez was retreating to a corner, but Joe Becker never stopped the action. No, I mean, uh, you know, we're wearing cups, you know, and uh, sometimes, sometimes it's gonna happen. You can't, can't just, uh, can't just stop the fight every time uh, you get tapped. Rodriguez landed a right hook, maybe one of his best punches of the fight. Redner Big. responded with leather. Big right leg out of Rodriguez. And there's the bell in round two. Another end-to-end -end action pack. Two minutes as Redner licks his wounds in the blue corner on the right side of your screen. This fight's nuts. Yeah, it's been wild. It's been really wild. Now, what do you do, James? You're in Rodriguez's corner here. You've seen uh, an absolute pit bull the first couple of rounds in Redner, couple of, taking a couple of big shots. Rodriguez has taken them. He's shown some effects, but he's bounced back nicely. But it's that. That's not a fear factor, but just kind of the expectation that Redner's going to be so volatile for the entire fight. Yeah, he's got to he's got to try, and I'm sure that's what they're telling him. He's got to try to find a way to uh, to corner him, to corner him, so he can't get away and can't be as wild. He's got to he's got to put him in a position where where uh, where he's not going to like it, and he can't because Redner's hitting him and he's getting out of the way. So one round left to decide in this modified Thai boxing matchup at 140 pounds between Andrew Rampage Redner on the right side of your screen, wearing the black trunks with red trim, going up against David Rodriguez in the black with orange. Big, big left kick Again, out of Redner, Redner right at the start of the round. Oh my goodness. For the third time, Redner says he's been hit with a low blow. We'll stop the clock here for a moment as Joel Becker sends Redner to the, take a breather here in front of us. Now Joe Becker has a word with David Rodriguez, the Seton Jim product. As Redner taking his time smartly to recover across the ring. Pot potentially, in addition to getting the extra breather, James, maybe a little bit as a result of just Redner's style. He's just opening yeah. himself up. I mean, He's coming full like frontal, said, basically. In this position, I think you got to just let it play out, you know? But you see Redner. It was a balance. You hit him with a strong one, but it was a balance issue. He tumbled him over. Redner rolled over, got right back up. No eight count. And now Rodriguez finds a home with the right hand, and Redner scoots away. The crowd here at the Broad Street Ballroom didn't like it. The crowd here is going wild. Packed house in the Broad Street Ballroom. An actual retreat for Redner. We haven't seen that at all in this fight till now. Fighters get tied up there as Redner tries a hellacious spinning back elbow, uh, spinning back fist. No elbows allowed in this fight. Straight. Nice strong right down, right down the middle for Rodriguez. Every time Rodriguez looks ready to sit down on a big shot, Redner's not there. He's literally running away, but you know, not in a scared way. It's more of a, you know, I'm not going to let you hit me when it's your turn. You know, he's hitting him a couple times and he's he's he's, he's running away. At, at some point, <laughs> at some point, uh, David's getting on top of him now, and at some point it's got to get looked at wrong, you know, in in a negative way that he's actually turning his back and, and running away. This could cost Redner the fight potentially. Yeah, and then as he goes low on Rodriguez this time, 
and oh, then no, he's no, Redner, low blow. No, Redner says, no, I'm sorry, I apologize. Again, it's Redner saying he got hit low. I think at this point in time, you gotta just let it go. You gotta just let it go. Let's fight, let's fight. Under 30 seconds left in this battle, and it has been just that. Andrew Redner and David Rodriguez. Let it fight, let it fight out. Joe Becker with his hands full with these two youngsters. Redner is just 18 years of age and Rodriguez is 21. So these guys basically willing to run through brick walls. There's the bell, what a fight. Between that was a wild one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, a stunning six minutes of action between David Rodriguez and Andrew Rampage Redner. That was not our most technical fight of the evening here on Friday Night Fights, but there were some big shots. Uh, neither, guy's got, neither guy's got exhausted. Both these guys uh, stayed in good shape and kept a heavy pace, heavy wild pace. I, I don't like to speculate on the judges' scorecards, James Guccione, but I, I think just the big shots that Redner landed in those first two rounds, no matter what the judges think of round three, when often it was Redner kind of backing away from the action, he just landed some huge shots in those first couple of rounds. I agree with you, but at the same time, I would, uh, I hate to see a guy that's running away in the third round get handed, awarded the winner, you know? We're gonna stand there and fight. It's only a three round fight. Let's stand there and fight for all three rounds. He was literally turned his back and ran away about three times throughout the, throughout the match. Well, a lot of low blows, a lot of big shots. And I believe a lot of those low blows aren't gonna do him any justice on the uh, instant replays. <laughs> Some You're of those right. were close. But he is probably gonna walk away with the win here tonight, and he did, he did throw an exciting fight for us. Let's find out for sure, we'll go to Connor Hall. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner. We're going to go to the judge's scorecard. Judge A sees this 27-29. Judge B, 27-29. Judge C, 26-30. In favor of, unanimously, Andrew Rampage Redner. So the 18-year-old Andrew Rampage Redner comes up with a unanimous decision win, James Guccione, and he takes a win back to the MK Muay Thai and fitness team in Fairlawn. Augie Matias and Ray Maldonado celebrate with their fighter. That was a wild one for the 18-year-old. Yeah, that was a wild fight. He also, he did score that eight count in the first round. We gotta go back to that, you know, that, that had a score as a 10-8 round, the judges. So even if he lost that third round, he was still ahead. So Redner picks up his second win in as many tries. David Rodriguez falls in his debut fight. You're watching Friday Night Fights.